I hope you'll pray for me, and I, it's not my intentions that I'd take a, a long time, but I'm, I'm glad to be here this morning. And uh, you that was looking for Brother Jim to be with me, he's in a funeral today. And uh, C.B. Smith's son-in-law is dead, and that's who the brother was talking about here a little earlier. And he's uh, over there. He was in that funeral today. And so as we've met here in memory of our, our, our loved ones, our dear brothers and sisters that that's uh, outstripped us and gone on, and while I didn't know uh, uh, very many of the names, I, there was a few that I was acquainted with. And, but you know, friends, this morning, uh, they are, uh, they're much better off than you and I. Uh, they don't have to worry anymore about who's going to take care of them when they get old or what might happen to us and, uh, uh, this morning. Uh, uh, I feel that their spirits or their souls uh, uh, is going on to be with the Lord. And uh, some says they're here and they're under the altar and they're not happy, but uh, I don't know how you could be with the Lord and, uh, and not be happy this morning. And I know that He told the thief uh, there on the cross uh, when he was dying there that today shalt thou be with me in paradise. And Paradise uh, to you and I, uh, the way that I look at it, paradise is a wonderful place. Amen. It is a, a happy place. And, you know, uh, um, I would think that... Uh, um, so you see, friends, today, uh, uh, and he said, He, he, he that overcometh, uh, uh, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. He that overcome will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. So we understand that uh, the tree of life, uh, we know that it was in the garden uh, uh, there when uh, when God created a uh, garden eastward in Eden. The, the tree of uh, life was there, and also the tree of the knowledge of good and evil gave man the uh, choice. But you see, friends, here today, and I, I believe that that, uh, that man uh, on, the, uh, on the cross there, uh, that, uh, that the murderer, thief, or whatever he was, anyhow, he was a male factor. And, uh, and uh, I believe he went to his, his soul or spirit, went to, uh, went to, he- went to paradise, the heaven. Uh, I, I have a hard time of separating paradise from heaven uh, this morning, and uh, if you can, uh, that's fine, and I wouldn't. You, you could, uh, you could uh, help me uh, with that. You see, friends, the main thing is that this morning uh, uh, there, and uh, I know that uh, sometimes uh, some of the brethren they will use that that this man wasn't baptized and and he went to heaven, so I perhaps I don't have to uh, be uh, baptized. But you see, friends, here this morning, uh, uh, there, and I'd, hopefully, uh, I, uh, I don't know, uh, I hope the Lord will bless me, though, I, I know that, uh, but I can tell you what the Bible says, and uh, you see, there was no way that this man could have been baptized, this man was on a cross, he was hanging there on a cross, the Romans had put him there, and, uh, and uh, 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 according to history, uh, they hated the Christians anyway, and they, uh, that, um, they would not have allowed... Uh, that man, uh, they would have probably even tried to make his death uh, more uh, punishable or more suffering if they possibly could have. And uh, uh, there, but the main thing uh, this morning is uh, uh, there uh, uh, what uh, what the Bible teaches. And I hope you'll pray for me. And I, I really, I, uh, I really, I really was kind of struggling uh, even last night. Uh, we had went over to uh, over at the uh, big Leatherwood Church over there and. And uh, uh, Brother Frank was, or Brother Terry was over there, and he asked me if I was coming down this morning, and I said, well, really, I hadn't really, uh, uh, since Brother Jim couldn't come, I had thought I'd just come back to the funeral. And But you know, but I'm glad, I'm glad that I'm here this morning, and uh, 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 there, glad to see this uh, wonderful congregation that's uh, come here. And I know as, uh, as we drove down the road and see the... Uh, uh, some of the uh, churches, their parking lots were beginning to fill up this morning. And 
God has set this day aside that uh, for us to come and to worship Him uh, uh, there. And, and how, how, how do we do that this morning, you know? The Bible says that God is not worshipped with men's hands as though He needed anything, seeing that He hath made all na- of all nations one. And so you see here, friends, this morning, we don't worship God with our hands, and we, uh, we, but we worship God with our spirit. Yeah. We serve God uh, uh, here uh, in this world, what time we live here. And, and sometimes, you know, I wonder if I'm uh, there, uh, uh, what kind of a servant? Am I, am I really uh, there the 45 years that now that I've, uh, I've, been, uh, I've been in the old regular Baptist church? And as I, as I uh, look back over my life, I see that I, I think I could have done a lot better, uh, Brother, uh, Brother Ruggles. And I, I hope that... Uh, that don't cross your minds uh, this morning. And, but you know, I, I feel this morning uh, there that, uh, that I know that God loves me. He just told me that uh, there are many to go when I, when I was bowed there upon her knees and uh, uh, there. And when I close my eyes, I can still see that little spark of light that I saw 45 years ago sitting by my father's casket when God appeared, actually when He first appeared uh, to me. I always believed in God. I always believed that there was a God. But you know, there comes a, there was a t- one time in my life, and I know that you've heard me tell this, but I'll tell it one more time. 1941, in October, 1941, my, my little brother, my four-year-old brother was, was taken from the home. And I, and I could hear my mother screaming and crying and saying, why why did God take my child, my baby, from me? You see, friends, here mommy didn't understand that he couldn't live here any longer. What did it cause me to do? It caused me, Brother Junior, to try to hate God when I was seven years old, thinking that God had done something to hurt my mother, my 93-year-old mother now living there had just left this morning before, didn't, uh, uh, didn't know how, how that she was faring. But you see, friends, here this morning, but, I, but let me tell you, let me show you how God, how that God uh, got my attention, seven years old. Me and some of my cousins were sitting outside the house there and Sitting on an old corn sled, and my and my uh, and my older cousin, he had an axe in his hand and hacking on that uh, on that uh, rail there on that corn sled. And you see, friends, and I said, you know, I was so I was trying to be trying to hate God there that, that morning or that evening that night. I made this statement, and it stuck with me ever since. Well, when I die, I don't believe in God. When I die, you just, uh, I'd, yeah, I'd heard the preacher preach about uh, living and meeting your loved ones again in heaven when this life is over. I don't believe in God. I just throw me over in a holler when I die. No sooner than I made that statement, that axe came down upon my hand right there and I still... I still wear that scar right here today, Brother Lonnie Gregory. And so, friends, here I and I and I never forgot that. And so, friends, here I let me tell you this morning. And I know that I have, I have tried to respect and reverend God ever since that day. That didn't save me, no, no. But you see, friends, here I here I, this morning. But that always, and I, and I can remember, uh, there, and I hope I'll get away from this, but I, but I'm just trying to tell you how God dealt with me. I don't know how He dealt with you. But I know the grace of God that brings salvation hath appeared unto all men, uh, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, that we should live righteously, soberly, and godly in this present world. Is that right or wrong? And so, friends, I uh, hear uh, there's no no doubt in my mind. I, uh, there, there's no there's no excuse today. But maybe uh, you uh, you may be uh, like I was, uh, friends. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll just put it off a little while longer. 
You see, uh, God, God never did. I, I, I quit calling out to me, uh, friends. You're right. I don't know if that if that'll meet your experience or not, but God, I can always I uh, feel Him around me uh, there. Uh, and and so, friends, and I, and that's one right, one re, uh, that's another reason that I love Him. He never gave up. You know, sometimes. Sometimes we may we may give up on our up on our loved ones, you see, and and we may uh, we may say, well, they'll they'll never turn. But oh, friend, ain't you glad this morning, God? God never gives up. Is that right or wrong? And so I bless His high name. I, I hear today. There's only there's only one person. There's only one manner of people that I can read in in the Bible here that that are cursed. I. He's uh, uh, talking about uh, the sinner. A child may die. I may die a hundred years old. But the sinner being a hundred years old is cursed and, and so friends, uh, don't put it off friends. Uh, you may, uh, you may cross over uh, the boundary line. Oh, but you may, death may find you. Death may find you in your sins. And here's what Jesus said about the matter. Uh, uh, friends, I accept you believe that I, he was talking uh, directly to his people, except you believe that I am he. You'll die, you'll die in your sins. And where I am, you cannot come. But oh, when he was hanging there on the cross, here's what happened to his people. You see, friends, it's a dangerous thing to put it off. You see here, no doubt, no doubt, the experience that I had with the Lord when I was when I was seven years old, there, friend. But if I if I'd have died, friends, after that I after that I I stepped off in sin, and I and I can't really tell you when that was, but I but I know that I did because it don't matter about that anyhow because I was conceived in sin, friend. You and I was and. And there, and there's enough of Adam there in every one of us to take us out of this world. Uh, you see, but oh, bless His high name here today. And here's what He said there: When Pilate, after they'd scourged him, beat him near, uh, nearly, uh, nearly to death. Uh, you see, friends, uh, what do you think about Jesus this morning? Uh, what kind? Uh, what kind of a person uh, was he? Was he? Was he a man like me? No, no. He, uh, yeah, he, uh, he took upon himself uh, uh, the seed of Abraham. Is that right or wrong? And being found in fashion as a man, uh, he humbled himself unto death, even the death of the cross. But here's what. Here's what Pilate said uh, uh, to, to them people there. I don't find no fault in this man. Oh, bless his high name. Yeah, I know he's found a lot of faults in Dean or more, but you see, friends, here today, uh, I haven't, I haven't, I uh, haven't found, uh, what have you found? I'll tell you what I've found, uh, mothers. I've found a lot of joy and peace and happiness. Is that, is that right or wrong? Uh, these 45 years that I've, I've been trying, uh, when I, you know, when I get low down in the valley, uh, uh, there, he takes me by the hand. Is, is that right or wrong? And, and, and he said, I, I don't find any fault and this man uh, and 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 here and here's what they said. Here's what his own people that he loved so well that he came he came unto his own and his own received him not. But but as many as did receive him, unto uh, them gave he power to become the sons of God. For seventy four years ago I was born the son of Walker and any more. But 45 years ago, I became a son of God. And I, 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 and I know people as long. Uh, they, uh, they've had their heads taken from their bodies uh, for preaching that, but uh, that's the way that I believe it anyhow. Is that, is that right? If I'm what I say I am, I'm a child of the King, a friend's here. And, and my father owns a cattle of a thousand hills. Yeah. Raised pretty poor. In this world here, Many a morning down the road barefooted to school, but I, I'm not, I, I'm not a bit ashamed of that. I, but here's, here's what I want to say to you here, and, and you know, and in order and tried to justify himself, took him a little basin of water, washed his hands, and I'm pure. I'm pure uh, there uh, from the blood of this just man, but here, uh, here, here's why, here's what the people said that he came to die for, uh, uh, brother Lonnie. He came to save them. Uh, let his blood be upon us and our children. 
what's happened to the Jewish people today. You see, friends, here there, there's no doubt in my in my mind uh, they've been uh, they've been the most persecuted people in this world. But they, they could still be saved if if they if they had only looked to Jesus today, a uh, friend, He would save them. Is that right or wrong? And so and and bless His high name. But what do you see in Jesus? What kind of a person do you think He was? Here's what the Bible says about him. You see, friends, we don't we don't really understand just what just what kind of a what kind of a man was he? He he was God manifested in the flesh, and, and he said, "When you see me, you've seen the Father also." And so, friends, here here today, you know, they they come to him one time. Oh, show us the Father in, and it'll suffice us in here. And here's what he said. Uh, friends, I, 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 have I been so alone with you, and yet you don't know. Oh, bless his high name today. He was God today here in the human form. If you will, friends, and I, and and so here, and that that's a, that's what the difference was between him, uh, you, and I. Uh, you see, friend, this man, uh, this man didn't know no sin. I, uh, uh, this man, uh, uh, there had no earthly father. Uh, uh, there is that right or wrong? You see, friends, here, uh, but uh, and uh, and I know that's a great mystery, uh, uh, friends, here today, uh, and and I know people are trying to do away with the immaculate uh, conception, but oh, bless his high name here today. Day. Uh, and, and even uh, even his mother, when he when the angel Gabriel uh, uh, come to her, how can these things be? A uh, thing that I, I I've never known a man, but here uh, here's what here's what he uh, said unto her: uh, the Holy Ghost. Shall overshadow you, and that holy thing which shall which shall be born of you shall be called the Son of God. Is that is that right or wrong? But oh, friends, here today. But let's see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels of uh, 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 the suffering of death, but crowned with glory and honor, that, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. Yeah, you see, friends here. There's a part of this old man here uh, that don't dread death anymore. Is that? I hope that don't cross your mind here this morning. But if I'm what I say I am, uh, that uh, that uh, that soul was born again 19, uh, the night day of June 1900. 63. He can't die, Brother Lonnie. Is that right or wrong, uh, friends? I know this old, uh, this old man here, uh, Brother Compton. Uh, hey, he's just getting a little weaker every day, and soon he's going to die. And here's what the Bible says, and then I'll try to give the brother some time about death. You see, a lot of times we don't understand how we die. Some people think that God is just sitting up there, uh, uh, sitting up there in heaven. Uh, oh, oh, you know, uh, uh, today uh, uh, today's your time, uh, and tomorrow's your time. I don't see God like that at all, uh, friends, right here. Uh, the only thing God ever had to do with death, He abolished it. Is that right or wrong? Uh, when He got out of the grave, uh, uh, there on that third and appointed morning, He said, uh, All power is given unto me. Is that right or wrong? Nobody else has ever been able to say that. What does the Bible say how we die? I know people, and I don't mean to be controversial here, but I want to tell you the truth this morning. Uh, uh, some people say, uh, uh, they, uh, they try to twist the Scripture and say, uh, uh, He gives them their breath and they live and He takes it and they die. Show me that in God's Bible and you can convert me. But here's what the Bible says about death. Paul in his writing to the Corinthian church, for as in Adam all die. That's how you die, friends, here, here this morning. For as in Adam all die, but even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruit, and then them that are his at his coming. Yeah, that's what we're met in memory of here this morning. Uh, uh, friends here, because I, uh, that little brother that I spoke to you about uh, uh, a, little, uh, a little bit ago, He'll be with Jesus. He'll be with Jesus. Amen. My mom would relate the story to me. He was sick a lot in his four, four little years that he lived here. Take him out in the sun to warm his little body. Look up into that big blue heaven. Oh, it was, seemed like it was so bluer back in them days. The atmosphere. Does Jesus really live up there? This is a four-year-old. Does Jesus really live there? Yeah. Well, I'm going up there to see him. 
And so, friends, here today, I, I feel, I feel here, and let me, and let me tell you this, and then, and then I'm closing. You see, friends, here, uh, uh, not too long after, uh, uh, 45 years ago, after me and my dad, uh, we walked out, uh, out on our job in Niles, Virginia, uh, and, and a little bit later, my dad was laying under a crane there that he turned over and killed himself. But not long after that, I began to turn to the Lord. Well, it wasn't long after that. It was right, it was right then that I began to turn to the Lord. One night in a dream, you see, friends, here I hadn't seen my little brother in about 20 some years that actually almost forgot of what he, of what he looked like, except I'd look at a photograph. But one night, one night in a dream, I, in, in this big crowd, I, I, you know, I, I, I really think it was, it was almost just what, uh, what the Apostle Paul said when he was carried up into heaven. But here I, here I go uh, through this big crowd of shaking hands and everybody was, was just so happy. Come to this big hand. My dad was a was a and, and some of these brethren they uh, they can remember him uh, was a very large man and I I reached out and shook this big hand there. I knew that was my dad's hand. I looked up there and here he had my little four my little four year old brother right there right there in his arms. A uh, uh, brother a uh, brother Lonnie Gregory and uh, you talk you talk about a happy time uh, there, uh, friends and, and and here's how the apostle summed it up. Here's how heaven is, friends. He said, I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Whether in the body or out of the body, I, I know not, but God knoweth and how. And such a one called, called up to the third heaven. Is that right or wrong? And he said, and I knew such a one. Whether in the body, he didn't know whether he, he had a, an out of the body experience or, or whatever you want to call it or not. And how, how that he was caught up into paradise. And he, and he saw a thing. He heard words which would not... Lawful for man to utter. Oh, friends, you and I, we may, have, we may try to imagine how, how heaven is. But you see here, only His Spirit can reveal that to us. Is that right? Eyes not seen it. Ears not heard it. But He reveals it unto us by His Spirit. I fle- and, and, and He said, and, and, and hearing that, and what happened to this man there? Because, and He said, because of the abundance of the revelation that was given unto me, a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, uh, lest I, lest I should be exalted. You see, no doubt in my mind, uh, I hear friends, uh, if it hadn't been for that, the apostle would probably been, he would probably been exalted, uh, but here, and he, and he said, and I sought the, th- I sought the Lord three times for this, but he said, my grace is sufficient for you, Paul. But when you're weak, then you're made strong. Is that right or wrong? You see, friends, you're, uh, my, my, you, no doubt in my mind, uh, here, uh, when you, when you see God there, you don't have any friends. Just look up. He's a friend that'll stick closer than a brother. A friend indeed. You see, friends, here, and here's what I, here's how that I want to close. Oh, Peter, you see. Oh, he loved Peter. He loved all of, he, lo- he loves everybody. But you see, friends, here, he told Peter, Peter, Simon Barjona, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevent it, prevail against it. And when they came into the garden there, here's, here's, here's what I want to get to you. When they came into the garden there that night to take him, Judas had betrayed him, you know, for 30 pieces of silver. Betrayed him with a kiss. Peter drew out his sword there and began to smite the high priest's servant and cut his ear off. The Lord just put it back on. You see, friends, here and told him to put up the sword. You know, he that lives by the sword, he's going to die by the sword. Here. But here's what he said unto him after that he had there. He said, Peter, do you love me? Do you love the Lord this morning? Do you love him better? Do you love him better than your husband or better than your children? I know me and Irene, we've got two wonderful children. Brother Lonnie Gregory married one of them, one of my boys over in the, over in the little Murray church. He, he wanted, he wanted to be married in an old regular Baptist church, married a Catholic, and she and I, and I, she agreed to be married in a, in a regular Baptist church. But you see, friends, do you love, do you love the Lord this morning? I know today, today's me and my wife's 45th anniversary. 
When I got up this morning, I wished her. I said, happy anniversary. She said, well, you too. But you see, friend, here's the point. I know that here, I, I, and I, this don't bother my wife, and it don't bother my children to tell them, sister, that I, I love the Lord better than I do them. And they, I think they understand that I'd probably, we've just about worked ourselves to death for them. I love Him better than I love my wife here this morning. You see, friends, God had joined, God joined us together 45 years ago, and I told her this morning, I said, well, maybe if we make it five more, we may, we may do it all over again. But you see, friends, here today, but here's what I, here's what I want to say, and I'm closing. Yes, Peter, do you love me, Peter? Yeah. Yeah, Lord. I love you. Well, feed my lambs. Asked him again, Peter, do you love me? Yeah, Lord. Feed my sheep. He asked him a third time, and Peter got a little upset there that he would ask him three times. And, yeah, Lord, you know all things, and you know that I love you. And here's what he said to him, and this is how that I'm closing. He said, Peter, I've prayed for you that thy faith fail thee not. And when thou art converted, convert the brethren, strengthen the brethren. You see, friends, here today, Peter and them, it took, he took them up on the mountain there. Here's what God done for them. And I'll tell you one thing, he'll, here's what He'll do for you, friends. He'll give you enough faith. He'll give you enough faith that you won't, when He borns your soul again, that you, he'll, he'll give you an understanding that you're going, to, you're going to heaven when this life is over. Now, if we don't believe that, uh, then, uh, then I've been preaching the wrong thing. I've... Because I, I never did feel that God would save you today and then turn you loose and let the devil have you tomorrow. I don't believe it works like that. And here and here's and I'll give you a scripture for that and how that he, you know, he said, "My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and therefore no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand." Ain't you glad for that? Yeah, he may he may he may cause you a lot of trouble, the old devil with, but he. But I can tell you one thing. Here's what the Bible says. Here's what it tells you to do when he starts giving you problems. Resist him, and he'll flee from you. A little prayer will put him. Will put him in his place. Is that is that right, brother? You see, friends, here, here. He, he said, "I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven." Yeah, friends, uh, and and you know, people try. They try, and I and I know I must not get on to that. But people try. You know, they'll try to twist that around and say that he was in the eternal heaven there at one time. I'll tell you what the Bible says. He was a lie. Yeah, that he was some kind of an archangel or whatever. But the Bible says he was a, a murderer and a liar from the beginning. Is that right or wrong? And we know that that does nothing unclean has ever been on that road. Thanks be to God for that road. I feel, I feel that he put me in that way 45 years ago and he's kept me there. And I, and I feel if I, if I, if I should be blessed to live another 45 years, He'll still have me in His hand. Is that right or wrong? Because His hand is strong, my brother. And it's not short. His arm is not short that He can't save. Is that right or wrong? So friends, get in the way here today. Let me beg you here. Don't put it off. Because you don't know. You don't know when you're going to leave here. That's the, you see, that is, we know that we're all going to die. We understand that except the Lord would come. We're all going to die because and at Adam, we're just going to wear out our bodies. My, my, my 93 year old mother that can't take care of herself anymore. About a year ago, my mother was able to get up on Sunday morning. My mother was able to get up on Sunday morning and fix things to take to the church to feed the people 92 years old. She didn't have to do that. We, me and my wife had told her many times, you've done it, but I want to do that. She wanted to do something for the Lord. You see, and, and, I, and I, just got, I just have to get this right here and then I'm quitting. You see, Jesus went into this little home up there. There was a little home up in, Beth, up in Nazareth there. That he, there was a little family that He loved. And, and there, there was two... There was two little sisters in that home there. And you know, and they, and they, they went in there, brother, uh, uh, brother, uh, God bless you, brother Lewis. And, and they went in that home and one of them little sisters, she was just, she was just trying her best to do something for the Lord. She wanted to make him a, a wonderful meal. No doubt they was going to put the best they had on. She was going to do that, put the best that they had on the table for Jesus there that day. 
And she was a little upset. Here sat Murray right at his feet. Oh, how, how, wonder, how wonderful it is when you, can, when you can bow at the foot of Jesus. Is that right or wrong? Yeah, friends, I, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather be, I'd rather bow there than, any, than anywhere. I, I know old Brother Huff used to come here a lot. He had him a big beech tree that he went to. But I, I just say right at the foot of Jesus. And she was a little upset that her sister wasn't trying to help her. I, I, I could just put it in my words. Jesus, I'm trying to do something really nice for you. I'm going to give you the very best that we have here this day. Ask my sister to get up and help me. Well, he said, Martha, you're, you're troubled and cumbered about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part, which shall never be taken away. You see, friends, and there was one, there was one time, there was a man come there with him and talked to him and wanted him to said, uh, bid my brother there that he divide the, the goods with me, the estate, you know. And he said, man, who made me a ruler over things like that? So here, but choose the good part, friends, today. Because you don't know. Tomorrow might be too late. Don't put it off. Today's the day of salvation. If you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. You see, they uh, there when they hardened their hearts there in, the, in that desert, but... But turn to the Lord, friends, before. Don't let the... Here's my... This would be my advice. And I can... And I'll, I'll finish this right here like this. After the 25th day of March, 1963, I never closed my eyes at night there for... Uh, when I, before I'd go to sleep, Lord, don't let me die. Don't let me die in my sins. And I can remember the ninth day of June there when the, when the Lord saved me. I've done everything that I know to do, and I was still a sinner. I'd, I'd tried to go what, what mom and dad had taught me, go here and pray and go there and pray, but I was still a sinner. Now here I am, Lord, and you know, you know whether I love you or not. Talk to the Lord. He'll, uh, he'll give you an answer. I can tell you that. You know whether I love you or not, and you know whether I'm going to serve you or not. You see, I had promised him many times that I was going to do that when I was going into the army in 1956. I thought that there was a possibility that my life could be in danger there. And I promised the Lord, if you'll just help me, I'll be a better person. But you see, that didn't last very long. But you see, friends, when I talked to Him there that night, you know what I'll do. You know whether I love you or not. And you really know whether I'm going to serve you. And He, gave, and he came from heaven there that night. And He took, he took my sins. I felt, I felt the burden. Now, I know the brethren there. I've heard them talk about that a lot. But I felt that I felt that word, that sin leave my body, brother, and I felt His glorious presence come into my life there that night. And the first thing I thought about, get up and go call your mom and tell her the good news. But you see, Satan was right there in that room. They won't believe you. They'll say you got it too quick. You see, there people. People don't. We've been we've been taught in the old regular Baptist church against instant conversion. But I believe I believe that God can save anybody in this house right now if they'll just give their heart to Him. Amen. May God bless you. I've done the very best I could.